Hey folks, welcome to this video. Uh, today I'm just going to run through uh, the charts a little bit using our supply and demand uh, software and the buy and sell zones uh, expert advisor. I'm just going to show you the configuration that I'm running and show you how I'm using it so that you can uh, perhaps um, emulate what I'm doing. Okay, so I have a, I mean, a three chart configuration where I have uh, three time frames. We have the daily chart on the right, which is my long term time frame. Then I have my medium term, which is a four hour. And then here on the left, I have the one hour chart. And the chart on the left, I'm running uh, supply and demand software combined with the expert advisor that you can see just here. Okay, so what I'm doing, it's a very simple process. I'm simply dragging um, assets onto my, onto the first chart one at a time and notice that when I do that, the other two charts update as well. This is because I'm using the sync charts, which you can find in the software's channel on our Discord server. And so what it's doing is it's looking at the time frame, the zoom and the symbol on this time frame. And it's attempting to replicate some of those features on the other time frames. So if I zoom in on this time frame, the other two charts will zoom in as well. OK, but the only thing I don't want to replicate is the time frame because I want to keep the daily four hour and one hour configuration. So what I do is I, I drag these symbols over one at a time. And if I see a trade that I like, um, I simply click on the auto trading button and that tells the algo trader that it's welcome to open trades and now it'll open a trade here. This trade has actually already happened. Uh, it happened just here where we had this lovely area of supply and it was qualified when this red candle closed. When this dot appeared, this rectangle was drawn on the chart telling us that when prices got close to that or into it, we want to look to sell and that worked out quite nicely. Uh, and then we had another area just below and this is a child zone because this was created as a result of the presence of this parent zone here. Price is left. When this red candle closed, this dot was formed. We drew the rectangle telling us that, hey, let's take a short here. Price is poked up into that area. Then we moved away and had a, another um, very beautiful trade. And good. So this is what I'm doing. I disable this. I go to my next chart. And I'll have a look and see what I see. See if I can find something that I find attractive and in according to, to my parameters and if there isn't anything I'm just simply skipping over to to the next symbol. I'm doing this over and over again and it's quite quite simple. Okay you can see here we had this one hour area. It was drawn on the chart when this blue candle closed and so I knew when this blue candle closed when this bar and everything to the right was not even on the chart I knew that I wanted to buy here. Okay, so <clears throat> you can see that we had we had an order in there once. Um, the the stop loss was down here about one and a half times as time the size of that zone. Prices came into that area and then we managed to move away quite nicely. There's a four hour area here. So let's assume, let me remove this. Let's assume that I want to maybe take this four hour zone here. So I go, I put the four hour zone on the same chart on which the algo is running. And then I simply click on auto trading which tells the algo that it's allowed to trade and then in very short order it will snap that position onto the chart and then we're done. Again, I make sure that it's not going to open more trades and then I change the time frame back and then I go to the next one. So you can see this goes really, really quick. And what I'm looking for, I'm looking at the daily chart. This is my primary focus. So what I want to see here is I want to see, I want to be mindful of where um, the price is relative to the buy and sell zones. And so when I have a lovely area like this, moving up like this, then I will look for an entry on the smaller time frame. So if we have a look here, this candle just here is this one just here. Okay, so price is left. We managed to move away. And when this blue candle closed, we got the dot, we had the box. I knew that I was going to be buying here this area here based on this based on this zone that you can see just here so you click it on places a pending limit here and we were filled here we came back to it another time and then we finally managed to move away and we had another one here a little bit higher when this blue candle closed we had a buy limit here the buy was well, was taken here and then we were um, kind of taking the trade uh, higher from there okay we are we are in the sell zone we are starting to move away 
Um, this is not a great area because it's quite it's quite far away and price already left and I don't know if price is going to come all the way back there but if I do like that I'm just going to click on the order trading button done depress go to the next one so this is essentially what I'm doing um, combining three time frame analysis I have the histogram and the currency strength so I know what's going on with the two currencies relative to one another I know where we are relative to the cycles on the four hour and the daily and then I'm just using buy and sell zones to get me into the trades. Um, one thing that's important to note is that you have to ensure that the configuration of the supply and demand software and buy and sell zones is the same. Because if it's not the same, they're not going to find the same zones. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Thank you so much for watching.